buying your dream condo, paying off a sports car in full? With a lottery win today, what would be available to you? Will your family be better off? Will you be happier? Here's what if you won the lottery today. The odds of getting the exact 4 digits in the 4D is quite slim. There are actually 10 consolation prizes, 10 starters, 1 third prize, 1 second prize, and 1 first prize. That's 23 numbers out of 10,000. Slim, but actually not ridiculous odds. That's why the winnings for a 4D are actually quite much smaller than Toto. Usually 4D winners walk off with thousands of dollars in terms of winnings. But what if you actually won lottery? Toto. Six winning numbers from a possible list of 49. That's actually much more difficult. If you get all six correct, you win top prize. The odds of it? 1 in 13.98 million. That's why 6 correct numbers will net you $2.3 million in winnings. But it isn't the odds of winning lottery or Toto, isn't it? Why do so many people still buy Toto? Is it the thrill of gambling or is it the make it rich quick feeling? Imagine this, with the lottery win, you can actually buy a Ferrari, a $1.1 million spanking new Ferrari. With the lottery win, you can actually buy a new yacht for yourself, something that you had joked with your friends before if you were rich. Or you can actually buy a new landed property, a 2.5 million budget landed property. All of this, all within grasp. To earn $2.3 million, you need to earn at an average of $100,000 for 23 years. And that's just earnings, not what you have kept. So to actually build up $2.3 million in savings and net worth, you need to invest at 10% per year for 23 years using $29,000 each year or $2,417. And by then, in 23 years time, inflation will have already eroded a large part of that $2.3 million already. So it makes sense to buy a lottery, isn't it? If there has to be a winner, why not it be you? Imagine collecting a check you have never seen before, $2.3 million. A sum of money so big it makes your head go dizzy. A sum so big that it actually changes your life. And the first question you have to ask yourself is, who can you share this news with? Your spouse? Most naturally, it's very difficult to hide that away. What about your family, your siblings, your mom, your dad? Would it change any relationship? Would it cause dependence from them? What about your children? Now, if you tell them, you can forget about saying, mom and dad is saving money, let's not buy it. And even worse, would you be telling them that gambling is actually good? What about friends? Who would be happy for you or who would get envious of you? Would it attract friends that want something from you? Would that actually make you more alone than ever? With $2.3 million parked in a bank's fixed deposit, you can actually just live off the interest. $24,000 a year or $2,000 a month, that is the interest you can milk out from that $2.3 million. And if you lead a frugal life, you're kind of fine already. But most Singapore households spend more than $2,000, correct? The average is $4,906 per month. So how long can that $2.3 million last? If you spend $4,906 per month, your $2.3 million in a fixed deposit can still last you 40 years at least. The second question you have to face is what to do with your job. If you are thinking of quitting, you're not alone. There are many stories of winners who have actually quit their job. Why? Simply because the salary does not have the same meaning anymore. It used to take you 40 or 50 hour work weeks to earn that little salary, but now with luck, you've actually made a hundred times of that amount. Now your retirement fund is really here. There's no need to bear with any work stress, correct? And the important part is now you actually have a choice because previously you didn't have a choice to leave your job. Now you actually have this choice and that makes going to work every day a little bit more difficult. So let's say you quit your job. Now you have more time than ever. You look around the house, there are things that you've neglected, the spoiled cupboard, the aircon that's not cool anymore, the half ladder so far that's peeling off so bad and the neighbours that you can't stand. So what to spend that money on? Should you actually buy a new landed $2.5 million so that you can be alone? So that you don't have neighbours upstairs and downstairs of you? Should you actually upgrade your house, get to a new space, get to somewhere newer and start all afresh? Because with $2.3 million, you have a lot of options. How about getting a car? You can actually buy a Ferrari with no loan. But you being prudent, you decide to just go with the Mercedes, a $300,000 Mercedes. And you still be left with $2 million to spare. $2.3 million seems quite a lot of money to spend, correct? But why do 70% of all lottery winners actually blow everything away within 5 years? Would you fall in the same trap also? 
Think through it carefully and don't make mistakes because the odds of you winning lottery another time is almost impossible. Here are some learning points that you can take away and before you get there, smash on the like button. This is Jack Whitaker. He was a multi-million dollar worth businessman and likely very smart with money. He won the lottery in 2002 and his lottery win was $113 million, an amount that should take care of him for life. But after winning lottery, he had several brushes with law and personal tragedies. And maybe that's what drove him to buy a Lamborghini. And story has it that he drove with his Lamborghini all around the neighborhood throwing away cash. On the other hand, this is Brad Duke. He won the lottery in 2005 and his winnings were $220 million. Brad was a gym manager and the first thing he did was to read about people who actually suffered huge catastrophes after they had won the jackpot, like Jack Whitaker. Brad did not go on a spending spree. Instead, he stayed in the same house and bought a used Volkswagen. In these words, the more he started to fantasize about what he can do with the money, the more he told himself to keep his feet grounded and change as little as possible. He assembled a team of professionals to advise him on wealth and created structures to pay that money forward. He actually tried to stay in his job for a few more years, but the moment he realized that most people that came to his gym were just there for entrepreneurial discussions, he had no choice but to leave his job. So what can be done? Singapore Pools actually has a Care for Winners program and it confirms that big money is actually a challenge more than a blessing. And here's a quick reason why. This is the concept of financial thermostat. What is a normal thermostat? If you set your room to 25 degrees, when your room is above that temperature, your aircon blows hard. And when your room temperature is below it, your aircon goes inactive. In a financial thermostat, you subconsciously regulate your spending based on how much you have. Now let me ask you a question. Are you used to an amount in your bank account? It could be 10,000, it could be 20,000, it could be 50,000. You have your own number. And do you realize that every time your bank account falls less than that amount, you naturally feel financially tight. You'll be ordering something cheaper. You'll be deferring some expenses. You'll be less open to investment ideas. But if you have a big bonus that comes in and you have way more than what you have usually, that bumps up your savings and you start ordering better food, correct? You start looking at holidays. You start thinking about investments more than ever. Now with $2.3 million suddenly in, your financial thermostat is in overdrive. Don't be surprised if it changes your lifestyle beyond your imagination. Every investment idea that comes through your door now can be entertained and not every investment is a good idea. So this is the moral of today's story. It may not be a lottery, it could be a big bonus or an inheritance you have gotten. The principles remain the same. If you like this series, check this previous video out also. This is what if you put all your retirement into equities. With that, I'll sign up from here and invite you there also. Take care and goodbye.